in honor of Reagan, I thought perhaps I could do a little reading from the uh, the conservative Bible, if you don't mind. Which is um, there? <laughs> well, this this particular dog-eared yellow thing that I pulled off my bookshelf is called Capitalism: The Unknown Ideal by Anne Rand. Oh God! It's a collection of I her didn't essays. Come here for that trip. <laughs> I know. Suck it. Can't go back now. <laughs> And only to demonstrate, A, why uh, Rick Perlstein is going to owe me 20 bucks because I put him onto this. When right. he writes his Reagan book, you know, this will be dropped in. Yeah. But this, just as a matter of historical perspective and the celebration of all things Reagan, um, for the people who believe, you know, all the people who rode in on the Reagan bandwagon, which is everybody from Sarah Palin to Andrew Sullivan. And Joe, and Joe Scarborough. And Joe, you know, yeah. yeah, exactly. All all those folks who owe their political manhood, if you will, uh, not to put too gender specific a point on it, to Ronald Reagan, need to remember that Ronald Reagan was an extremist ideologue from from jump. And this is what I'm uh, what I'm quoting you here is from an essay, or actually a speech, an essay that Anne Rand gave in April of 1967. Got that? It's 1967. And I'm just going to read a little snippet of it. The statists of both parties, who are now busy smearing Governor Reagan, are anxious not to see and not to let others discover the real lesson and meaning of his election. This is just after Reagan had been elected governor. That the country is starved for a voice of consistency, clarity, and moral self-confidence, which were outstanding qualities of his famous speech, and which cannot be achieved or projected by consensus-seeking anti-ideologists. Anne Rand, through Ronald Reagan, she, she helped launch his career. And, she, and from the very beginning, it was an, a, an ideological purity movement. It was, you cannot compromise with the left under any circumstances because they're statists, because they're Stalinists, because they're bastards. And this is 1967 mm -hmm. when this is happening. I mean, this, this whole ideological eruption that occurred on the right that has wrecked this country, those elements, those strains of that movement that the government is evil. You must work to undermine and destroy the government. That if you're on the if you're to the left of Reagan, you're some kind of Stalinist or a dupe of Stalinists. And there's and ideological purity is, is all important. And you can never compromise with that. From which flows the eliminationist rhetoric, from which flows Sarah Palin, from which flows gun nuts and militia nuts and, and Oklahoma City. That was all there at the beginning. Mm -hmm. The modern conservative movement was born in sin, yep. and to pretend otherwise is to be a, just another revisionist conservative idiot. Thus endeth the lesson. And I got books full of this crap. You know, you know? <laughs> I got books full of this crap, and I'm giving this crap away. 